Hi everybody, welcome to the home of Crybaby Performance. Today we're going to show you how to change valve springs on your Honda motor. So the first thing you got to do is take off the valve cover. Here he comes with the wrench. I don't advise cranking these bolts back in with an impact, but you can take it apart with the impact. Okay, our valve cover, and then the gasket. I've never had to replace the gasket after doing this. If you notice on the valve cover, it has a little lip on there, and it has a little lip on the gasket because it's formed in there from where it it pressed onto the block. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is we're going to talk about valve lash here for a second. Valve lash means the distance between this rocker arm and the top of that valve. That's the valve and the bottom of the rocker arm has a little ball on it. It's hard to see. That rides on the top of that valve. Now on some applications in the big car world they want to set valve lash. Lash means the distance from the top of this valve to the bottom of this rocker arm. And if you had to set lash, you'd stick a feeler gauge in there and then you would tighten the rocker arm until it hits the feeler gauge and has a snug fit. Then you'd lock down the rocker arm, pull out the feeler gauge, and let's say it was 10 thousandths, that would be 10 thousandths lash. But these engines run at zero lash to three thousandths lash. When the engine gets hot, the parts are going to expand and then the lash is gonna get looser rather than tighter. So you can set them up a smidge on the tight side and then um, it's going to loosen up as it heats up. Now let's say that you tighten this rocker arm too tight. What it's gonna do is it's going to hold that valve. See the valve moving? It could possibly hold the valve a little bit open, which we don't want that. We want the valve to completely shut. So when the valve completely shuts, the rocker arm is going to be just loose enough so that you can wiggle it on here. So we're going to go to our engine, and right here... I can just wiggle the rocker arm. And that this one's a little looser. This one is a little tighter. So what we can do to adjust valve lash is you make sure the piston is at top dead center. Because as we turn this, you're going to notice that it's turning this, pushing this valve down. You can't adjust the la lash out of it with it pushing on the valve. The valve has to be fully closed with no pressure on it. But this one doesn't have any pressure on it because it's pushing this one down. But there's a spot in the engine, if you keep rotating it, it will go like right there. I could feel it go clunk clunk. And now both valves it's not, it's on the, it's on the, the round. So both lifters are on the round part of the cam right here, which is the base circle of the cam. As soon as you start rotating it, then that's when this gets tight. So you want to be on the base circle, which happens when you're at top dead center. Okay, so how we would adjust valve lash 
is this a 14 millimeter wrench and this is a 10 millimeter wrench. We could back this off a little bit, okay? And then you're gonna see how free that, that wiggles, okay? I could also stick a feeler gauge in there. Like this, a 2000s feeler gauge. And if I wiggle this, the 2000s went in, okay? But it was pretty tight. So that's probably 2000s lash being that loose. I like it to be a little bit tighter. So what I do is I take a 14 millimeter wrench and the 10 millimeter wrench and I move them both at the same time a little tighter. Still would like it to be a little tighter than that. I like that. Then you got to make sure that you lock these two together and check it with your feel to make sure it's not too tight, which it's not. When the engine's running, it's gonna be just barely dancing on the top of that, that valve. And the same with this one. So that's how you check valve lash. We want zero to three thousandths. You could check it with your feeler gauge after you're all done. You know, 0 0.0025 is the smallest feeler gauge they make. And then it jumps up to one thousandth, two thousandths. This set doesn't have a one thousandth. I don't know what happened to it. But with this right here, this 0 0.0025, I just barely got it to slip in. So that's pretty tight. That's where I like it. Okay. So now let's move on to changing valve springs. 